Hello everybody, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares and it is time for another unboxing. Um, I am going to go <laughs> on a tangent here for one second. Um, for the month of January, I, I have a couple boxes that I get on a regular basis and each month I've been trying a few other boxes uh, to see what uh, I would like uh, out there besides what I'm currently getting. But uh, what I decided to do with this month, based on all the controversy that has been out there um, between two particular subscription boxes, with the BAM box, which I've never gotten before, and other than a uh, summer blowout sale, um, I've never really gotten any of the nerd block boxes either. Um, so I decided to take up the challenge. I had, for this month I bought both a uh, nerd block box that's not actually the classic I got the sci-fi coming and I have the anniversary BAM box coming so I am going to compare the two I'm going to take the time to look at both the boxes and see where the value is where I think I'm getting a better deal which box I'd rather have um, and here is my problem with BAM or so with uh, Nerd Block to begin with. Um, they're in Canada, um, and I have nothing against Canadians. It's it's just that the cost of shipping a box across the border. And I live I live in the middle of Minnesota. Canada is only about a five hour drive away, um, and the cost of the the shipping a box is ten bucks. And I, I do realize that it, when you look at the value of a box, um, shipping is not really in their minds um, when they're creating a box. The, uh, the uh, a value of what they're putting in the box, they're saying they're sending you a box that's worth, you know, uh, worth uh, more than the $20 you're spending on the box. But when you're spending an extra $10 on a box, for me, that's a $30 box as it cost me 30 bucks to get it um, and for the most part I haven't ordered any of the nerd block boxes because I can't spend that extra ten dollars on shipping because I don't get that ten extra dollars in value with that said during Christmas they had a uh, before Christmas they had a 50 percent off sale which basically knocked the price of the uh, blocks down by half, so you're only paying ten dollars for a block. And if you added an extra grab block, um, which they were charging ten dollars for, you're getting half of that off as well. So you're getting a grab block for five bucks, and they were still charging you ten dollars for shipping. Um, so I got a grab block and a sci-fi block and I got the sci-fi block because that was the only one that was being offered for January that actually had multiple franchises that interested me um, and I wanted to give uh, Bambox a fair shot as far as uh, I want to or I should say nerd block a fair shot against the Bambox uh, by getting something that I wanted to have with two franchises that I love with uh, Doctor Who and Harry Potter and seeing whether or not they can offer up a good box and higher quality items than I'm going to be getting out of the BAM box. Long story short and a big long deviation here. Um, anyway, what I have for you today, I haven't gotten the sci-fi block yet, um, but they did already send out the uh, I got the regular nerd block grab block as you can see right here you will see what's inside here and like I said because this is this is a previous box I'm not sure whether it is a actual previous box or if because it's a grab block if there's multiple different things going on inside here um, so I didn't want this to be the box that I compare uh, between the two um, but I'm gonna get this one opened up and see what they sent in this one and whether or not I like what's in here 
open it up and this is what we see with the classic nerd block grab block oh and as I was saying I did wind up paying basically more in shipping than I did for these boxes uh, which ultimately got me to a price level that I was happy to get these things at okay we're gonna start we're gonna start with this big box in here and it is something that I recognize and believe it or not I actually have of course it looks like my alien that's on the inside is tipped over here this is a nerd block exclusive Titans vinyl figures alien the Stromo collection I actually got this in a contest with pop.comics Jojo from uh, the woman cave in Vegas she sent me this as part of her giveaway so now I've got another one of these so maybe I wind up giving this away in a giveaway or in a trade box but once again it looks like that little alien decided to take a rest there okay on top we have Sounds of the Galaxy Guardians of the Galaxy Mixtape Nova Prime Music now this I do like works great with Walkmans for listening to go See, are we licensed? Gildan Heavy Cotton. No, we are not licensed. It is just a parody of Guardians of the Galaxy, but I do like that. It's a nice shirt. Okay, next in here, we have Drum Up some ideas including notepad two pencils and two erasers stationary desktop distractions looks to be just two pencils that look like drumsticks and a stationary pad that looks like a drum set of course we're damaged in the back here but pull that out of there Once again, like I said, it is it is one. They got uh, notepad here and two drumsticks, erasers on the ends, two pencils. Looks like they can actually fit inside holes here as well, but just notepads here. But once again, for the price point, I paid uh, all together with shipping and cost about 15 bucks for this box, um, and with being an unlicensed shirt. I'm thinking we're getting probably what at most about ten bucks for this maybe eight um, and this here as a vinyl you can buy in a store pay about ten bucks so between these two things if I didn't already have this this would be great and the shirt does pay for itself it does pay for the box so I thought I'd get my value out of the box anyway but there's more you do have a comic book Deus Ex Universe Children's Crusade Titan Comics Alex Irvine and let's see if this is a I don't even know if it's an exclusive but here we go from the uh, video game Deus Ex Ooh, and another comic book now this one I do like. I am a comic book fan and a comic book collector. DC Comic Essentials Batman The Dark Knight Returns graphic novel. DC Comics number one. Batman The Dark Knight Returns Frank Miller. Yeah, now this one I really do like. And let's see. We have a Spaceballs 
So the Schwartz Awakens. I absolutely love Spaceballs. It's a great parody of Star Wars movies. On a, basically, that's on a cardstock here. This print. Printed in Canada, of course. Okay, that is it. And then I have a shirt credit, shirt punch credit card. Uh, uh, oh, that's actually one I don't have either. Um, that comes in the box as well. And that is it for the nerd block. And like I said, um, I wasn't disappointed at all. If I was living in Canada, didn't have to pay the ten dollars for shipping. This would be absolutely awesome. Um, and for five bucks for the box itself. Um, got two comic books. I'm a big comic book fan. Um, Spaceballs fan as well. Big Aliens fan. So this actually is a bigger hit than I thought it would be. Um, the only disappointment I have in this particular box probably is uh, this drum set notepad. But hey, it's a little novelty throw-in item. But that is everything in my nerd block. Grab block. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, click, uh, click like down below if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to watch more videos. And uh, please feel free to leave any comments uh, down below or any feedback. And stay tuned. Um, I'll have more with the uh, fan box versus uh, sci-fi block in the near future. But once again, I was kind of surprised. I uh, wasn't too disappointed with what was in here. Um, but that's because they hit a lot of points for me with uh, this is almost is a sci-fi box between uh, between the uh, space balls aliens guardians of the galaxy and uh, yeah um, a lot of the shows that I do enjoy so they actually made me a fan but I suppose it, it's different with each and every person anyway um, if you're interested in I will leave a link for uh, nerd block down below if you want to go check them out um, but thank you for watching